I lived in Spain for almost a year and traveled around in Europe in backpacker fashion. Most of my travel has been in Asia. Um, I've, I've spent a fair amount of time in Japan. I studied the Arabic language in Amman, Jordan. I initially uh, studied Arabic in a classroom setting. I took three years of Japanese here at, at Portland State. I can also read and write in Korean. I also worked for the Jordan Times newspaper. And I'm a Spanish instructor at Portland State University. Teaching Spanish is my job in many different facets. A lot of times when I tell people I study linguistics, they ask me, you know, oh, what language do you study? I learned to love both Spanish and yoga in large part through travel. One of the biggest pieces about preparing to go abroad is is obviously preparing for culture shock. Even if you've had time to spend like studying the language of, of the country that you're going to be visiting, there's a culture piece there that maybe you didn't get. Uh, maybe you did. It depends on you know how deeply you've been getting into your study. What's appropriate in Spain wasn't appropriate in Argentina. From your usual daily life of going to school or you go to work and you kind of have developed this routine uh, but when you go into a different country, you're on somebody else's turf. And the best way to, to describe linguistics is it's the study of language. Language is a manifestation of culture. When I was learning to speak Spanish in the States, I would translate in my head from English, and I would say the kind of things that I would say in English translated into Spanish. But once you speak the language immersed in the culture, you realize you don't even say the same things you would have said before. In the linguistics department, one of our core classes is called Understanding the International Experience. That class is all about just understanding how to deal with situations where you're out of your comfort zone in a different culture. Because not only in Amman did I, you know, in Jordan did I get to learn Arabic, but I also got to see what language meant to immersing yourself into a culture. Uh, Jordan has amazing culture. The history is just fantastic. Uh, I got to see Petra, which is this extremely ancient city. I got to float in the Dead Sea. You know, it's got six times the amount of salt as your average ocean does. So you basically go into the Dead Sea and you float on the top of it. You know, where, where are you going to do that in the United States? So. I think that learning the language is really helpful in reminding people that with everything you want to learn, you have to start at the beginning and go through all of the steps. An older couple introduced themselves to me uh, in Japanese and uh, ended up buying me lunch. I ended up spending a couple days with them uh, and their family. Uh, and they showed me around a couple different cities in Japan. And I was back there again in September and I met up with them again. So we've kept in touch. And, you know, it was just an experience that, you know, I felt like I was almost adopted by this family uh, in my, you know, couple weeks I spent over there. And, um, it's just something that definitely wouldn't have happened if I hadn't had any ability to speak Japanese because uh, they didn't speak any English. I rode the train from Barcelona to the town I was going to live in, and nobody came to pick me up. The main word I heard was no, because we're in a uniform country as a journalist. You hear no quite a bit. And it was terrifying and hugely humbling. See, here I was thinking, oh, I have three years of Spanish. For them to answer the phone and me to go, uh, es, uh soy Shayna. And all I could think of to say was, I'm Shayna. And they were like, oh, good, Shayna, okay. It's the language that teaches you about their culture. It's the learning that foreign language where you find out the origin and the history of certain words. Learning language has been I mean, it's had a huge impact on my life. And, and Portland State is a great place to do that. All you need to do is walk through the park blocks and you'll see quite a few countries, quite a few languages represented. The reason I teach Spanish and not something else is with the hope that it will encourage people to study abroad. I think that studying abroad is, is such a fantastic opportunity because it opens your mind. To me, the goal is go out, see the world, come back compare, see about what's good and what's bad or what's different about where you are or where you were. Traveling into a different country is, is just kind of a dream come true. And definitely met some people who, who I wouldn't have otherwise. That sense of unity with the rest of the world, you can access that through language.